Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, another review for World of Warcraft Mega Box set, Goblin Shredder, and the set c includes uh, two ghouls, and then a mystery loot, and then the Goblin Hunter named Crample, I believe. Nope, Grimple. Sorry about that. The set number is 9105, and the set has 191 pieces. And it is the most complicated set I've built so far. I'm going to be doing a review on all the World of Warcraft Mega Block sets because I enjoy World of Warcraft highly and I enjoy Lego slash building uh, figures slash toys. So, bottom because they're on clearance. Anyways, let's get started. We're going to look at the ghouls first. Here we have this one. It's like a tealish blue and gray. Has red eyes and nice paint apps. This would go great with a uh, Death Knight figure. Seeing if you're unholy, you can have a ghoul as a pet. And then you can have a Ren to change them, but they don't have a Geist figure. So that's unfortunate. Put that to the side. Here's the other ghoul one. This is a more, I guess, traditional colored ghoul. And this looks like the ones that uh, would come from uh, probably Army of the Dead. But this one, I would get a lot from <coughs> summoning the ghoul. Hopefully I don't start coughing like I did in the previous video. I do apologize coughing so much and then let's look at the, the goblin hunter but just to show you real quick he can sit up inside the shredder and control it but I'm gonna take him out and we'll get to the shredder in a second here's uh, Grimple the goblin hunter he's a pretty nice face sculpt just like all the other goblins, they're all the same. I think this uh, armor set of his is unique to this character, and in this set, not the like sculpt themselves, because it's just recolored and put in different sets, but just this color. <laughs> same thing with this bow. Like I said, I'm not sure what bow that is. Like. Maybe it's a cursed bow from Nex. The cursed bow of the elite. <coughs> of the elite. Um, not sure. If you guys know, send me a comment. And that'd be pretty uh, awesome. Anyways, let's take a look at the shredder suit. It's pretty nicely articulated. Move it up, but it's hindered a little bit by the shoulder piece. Move it up like that, and back down. Just gotta be careful not to pop these off. Same thing on this side. You can go down a little bit like so, and then you can go up like so. And then the forearm you can bend all the way back, all the way forward a little bit. That's about as far as you can go. This does spin, like in the game. These claws do open up pretty much all the way, like so. And they cl uh, can close in quite pretty much all the way, but they run into each other. They can go in all the way, like so. And for the other side. Same thing. You can go all the way up like that. You can go all the way back like that. And then in. And then, I mean, uh, out and in. But it's hindered right here. But the little red piece in, uh, I mean, red piece of the brick. <coughs> but if you move it like that, you can bring it in more. And this does spin, like so. He has hip articulation. Like so. 
He has ankle articulation and ankle pivot, like so. You can get some really good poses with this guy. Just gotta be careful of uh, knocking the small pieces off. Oops, these are the wrong way. It goes like that. It's supposed to go like this. There you go. And this uh, wheel. Oops, it's starting to come off. And that popped off. But no worries, they pop right back on. That's a building set. You can make this do the attack it does in the game. Like the thing would hit you a few times and then it would spin like that. Which is pretty cool. That's one thing I like about the set. It's pretty, I mean, not pretty, but very accurate. And a good representation of a blocky goblin treader from WoW. Let's take a look at the cockpit of it. Slash seat. It's just some bro uh, <coughs> just some blocks. Nothing fancy. And here's the face. There's some see-through yellow bricks and some like neon green ones for the eyes. And here are the little joysticks controllers for it. And let's look on the back. Got some vents. Got the little smokestack with a little vent on the top. And these do also move. Oops. I'm trying to show you guys. You can move these a little bit. You gotta be careful with them, but you can move them far back as you like, but not really sure they're supposed to be moved. They're supposed to be like straight up in the air. And then there's some uh, red spikes on the kneecaps. One thing that really bothers me is some of these blocks are like almost marbleized. <laughs> They got like mini colors in them and it looks like marble, like marble uh, camera tops, almost. Like right there, that's marbleized. Same right there. It's just a bunch of colors mixed in. Not a solid color, maybe that's supposed to simulate rust or something. Not sure. <coughs> Alright. Like every big set, it does come with secret loot. I got these little shoulders. It's really nice metallic paint apps on them. And then metallic red right there. I'm not sure what's uh, either cloth or plates or whatever. Can't remember. But, anyways, let's look at the instructions. Just like the um, Baron Chase, it's like a fold out instructions and it shows you all the characters that you can get. This time it's updated with more. Probably going to be reviewing all these characters at one point. Most of these I have reviewed. <coughs> Excuse me. And here's the mystery loot. I am looking for certain um, of these. I'm looking for that helmet, that helmet, probably that one, and then, where's that axe? I guess they removed it. Anyways, just shows you how to build everything. This is the that section right there. It shows you how to build it. This is one of the arms slash shoulder. And then here's the hand. It shows you how to put them on. Here are the legging, uh, the legs and the feet. <coughs> Excuse me. Once again, I do apologize. 
compare to the contents. And then you get one figure and then two goals. Not four. Zero to three year olds. And here's the back. And I have reviewed all these. So if you want to see a video, go to my channel and find them. And then here's the box. The Goblin Shredder. Got the ghouls running for their lives. And here's the back. And here's a ghoul on that side. And then nothing on that side. I'm pretty sure that's the... Only time we're gonna get a, a ghoul on a box. I thought the goblin was on that. My mistake. You can get some really good poses out of this. And I'm not sure this is scaled correctly as in a uh, shredder in game. Most of the ones, if this is supposed to be a goblin, it'd probably be like up to here. But this is probably a bigger version. But I'm not sure. Alright guys. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more videos. Later guys.